In this video, I'm going to give you a full-blown step-by-step tutorial on how I would set up the TradingView platform for my options trading strategy. Step one, if you haven't done this already, go to tradingview.com and actually open up your account. Make sure you either download the desktop application for your computer or trade through the online window browser. Once you're in here and you're logged in, make sure you have the market data subscription that you need. Again, market data is available by going to your profile, accounts and billing, and you can go here and go and see that you have data subscriptions right here. If you don't have data subscriptions turned on, you won't have live data to trade with. It'll make it very difficult for you to be profitable. If you don't have something in here, you have to click this add extra market data or add market data area. You can go monthly, you can go annually, you can click on the different areas you want to trade. If you want to do options in the US, you want the US stock market bundle, you want the OTC and NASDAQ, NYC, all those different things, ARCA. I just click on the monthly bundle for 10 bucks a month and that gives you all the data you could ever need for your options trading in here in TradingView. Once that's been set up, we want to go up and we want to go to products. We want to go to the super charts and open up a super chart. And once the super chart loads, it's going to look something like this. It may be a line chart for you if it looks like that. You can click it from line to line to bars, candles to bars. I like to use candles myself when I'm trading. That's what makes it easy for me. We've got our platform open. We have our market data set. Now step three is getting this chart layout to look proper. We don't have a lot of data in this right now. So the first thing we want to do is add some data to give us a better picture of what's going on to help us plan out our trades. To do this, we want to go up here and want to go into the area to get some indicators. And we want to put on first some volume. We want to see volume on the bottom. So we'll go volume right here, the favorite of mine. Boom, you have volume on the bottom. Now red is for selling days, green is for buying days. We also want to get onto a indicator that is going to help us with our strategy and our strategy overall you have to always have a strategy for what you're trading on and our strategy today is going to be buying call so we're going to be buying call options on stocks and to do this we need to be able to set up a chart that's going to give us an advantage and kind of give us a bit of an edge or a signal on when we should start buying those call options so we want to have a bullish position and when you're going to buy calls you want the stock price to be going upwards when you do this and you're buying calls you make a lot of money if the stock price goes down and you're buying calls, you lose a lot of money. So we want to have an upward kind of moving strategy and signals to help us find those stocks moving upwards. You can see Apple right now is on a nice big upward trend, not so much lately. So we want to kind of get this one out of the way and find some more stocks that are better suited for our strategy. To do this again, we're going up to indicators. We want to put on something called the moving average, the EMA, the exponential moving average, moving average exponential. We're going to do this, click it on. It comes in as nine day. We're going to put it on an eight day. That's my preference right there. And we have a green line. And we have a blue line for the EMA right there, eight day. You can see the price closed at 188.07. We can also go ahead and put on one more indicator and it's gonna be called a stochastic. A stochastic right there. It's gonna come down the bottom and this is the crossover tool. We want it to be not 1413, we want it to be 1233. 12, the K is gonna be a three, the D is gonna be a three. And we're gonna look like that, okay? And we wanna put on one more indicator this time. We wanna make a moving average, a simple moving average. You can see it right there but we're gonna go click. We wanna put on the 50 day moving average simple right there. Click on the gear icon to manipulate this one. 50 day is the length. You don't want it to also be blue. We want it to be yellow in this case. Okay, so it changes up a little bit from what our little EMA eight is there. And now we have our kind of chart set up the way we want it to be in terms for our options trading. That's all well and good. And we have our chart set up the right way, but we don't have an answer for why it's set up this way yet. I'm gonna to get to that in a second. Plus give you a quick little way to kind of find stocks that are about to pop and burst and go on a nice bullish run. So what we need to do is populate some stocks in our watch list that we want to trade. If you know which stocks you want to kind of trade, you can click on this little plus button right here and you can go ahead and just start adding them. If you want to do Costco, if you want to do Intel, if you want to do Nike, if you want to do Lulu, Meta, HD, all these different stocks, you can populate it in here and add them to your list. If you don't know or don't have a list of stocks you want to trade yet, that's okay. Okay, you can start with the S&P 500 the 500 biggest stocks by market cap in the US. You don't have to have a big list. You can have 10 to 12 lists and make, make a decent amount of profit if you're patient, wait for your strategy to develop. So we're just adding companies right now, but if you have companies you want to trade, great, put them in here, save this watch list. If you don't have companies that you have to trade right now, I'm gonna show you in a second how to find companies that are about to pump and go on a run. And we'll make a separate watch list for those companies that are a bit shorter term in the trading world. So we wanna make sure we save this layout overall as well. We wanna make sure we did all this chart work to kind of set everything up and set things up here. We want to go ahead and save this, this little button down there, save, it's unnamed, that's okay. We want to also go and then make a secondary watch list potentially. If we click the drop down right here, we can create a new list. We can call this our super pump list for buying calls, okay? And we know that this list is gonna be only for buying calls super bullish list. And we're going to find some of these stocks in a second. So to get to our scanner or screener, we want to go down here to stock screener. Okay. We want to go through here 
We want to turn certain filters on and off in order to find stocks that are going to go on a nice rip. Generally, this will help you kind of cut down the clutter and kind of get you to those stocks a little bit faster. And you want to be going buying call options on stocks that are ready to kind of move upwards, not like Apple right here we're showing on the chart again. So filters we're going to have on. You can see I have my pump filter on right there. And the filters we have on here, I'm going to show you right there. We want common stock. We want the average volume 30 day to be above a million because we want lots of shares and you're not going to be able to do options trading without a lot of volume for shares. Right? So a million is kind of the low ball range for when I'm doing this. You can have a price between two and 10,000 for the stock price. Primary listing, yes. Technical rating, that's usually you want to have a buy rating. That's not super important. You can also rank by this, but we're going to keep it that way for now. And then you want to have the exchanges that they're going to be operating on. New York Stock Exchange, the ARCA, NASDAQ. Okay, those, those are the good ones there. Change percentage above zero. And we have, this is the big one, the negative directional indicator crosses down below the positive indicator. I mean, the positive indicator is crossing upwards, giving us that kind of signal that this is going to be a kind of breakout kind of stock. And the current trading day is also giving us data for today's trading day as well. So we're going to close this. We're going to make sure that we run the pump. I'm just going to refresh this list right here. And if we search and filter this by technical rating, okay, we have strong buy. And if I go to this stock right here, the chart should be setting up for a nice powerful move upwards, a nice green candle right there. I'm going to go ahead and just click on this LYB right here, select all, copy or right click, and you can add all selected to watch list. So boom, now they're on our super pump list and you can go through them now and do our technical analysis and find the stocks that we want to have to trade and buy calls on. So if we kind of close this little filter down here, the stocks are going to get back to our chart and we can see that at the top here, all these charts are going to have nice green candles that are going to show us a potential breakout in terms of what we want to trade. Now, the kicker here is that when you have a strategy like this, you want to have a system to kind of play on repeat over and over and over again. And what we're looking for here in this specific set of this one playbook or this one strategy, it's not a be all end all. It's not always going to work for you, but you want to have a playbook and what you're looking for. If you can see those kind of patterns develop, that's when you know it's a good time to kind of go ahead and make your trades. It gives you confidence in what you're doing because you're repeating it all the time. In this area, we want to see a crossover. We want the blue line, the blue line down here in the stochastic to be crossing above the orange line, which it is. The closer to 20 that it crosses over, the better for us. And we want to see a nice jump up like we're seeing right here. This is almost the perfect setup right here. If I zoom in on this, we want to see a gap up. You can see that there's a gap right here, right? And right here, there's a little bit of a gap. And you want to see that the line or the gap is happening and it crosses above that eight day EMA. So we wanna see this line right here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit further for you. So you can see this, if we go over here, you can see it right there, okay? There's a gap up and it crossed above that blue line right there, which is a perfect kind of setup, a perfect kind of area right there for our first example on this trend. We've got a crossover down here. We've got a nice jump and gap up up here. The only other thing I would look at right here on this example is that we have to take our volume into consideration we have to take our kind of stock price into consideration for various trades in this area. We can see here that there is some room to run up to this area up here at 1461. We have a nice crossover down here that's happening, but we don't have a ton of volume right now. Volume hasn't really spiked. It is starting to spike. We also have earnings coming out. So there's a little bit of volatility there. So maybe that's one I put on the maybe list for a little bit later. And then you just go through your, your area. So we want to see, again, on the charts here, we can start at the top and we can go through them. Do we see that gap up? Do we see that there is a nice crossover? This is too high for the crossover, that's out. So I'm just gonna say this and go, boom, you're gone. Next next chart, Rito. Nope, Manu, there's a good one right there. That's a good example of our chart. We've got a nice crossover of the blue line above the orange. We've got it right around that 20 area mark. It's crossing out. There's a nice gap up above that blue line right there. And there's room to run higher up to 25 and change. So that would be one I would just flag as green right here as I'm potentially going to buy options, buy call options on. So Manu is one. And you go through your list and just repeat this step and look for the same setup over and over again or whatever setup you have for your own trading, looking for the same setup. And you can just go through these companies and do that. And if you find good ones, you have multiple you can trade. If you don't find any that you like, just keep going through and be patient with it until you find the correct setup that you're looking for. So going through this whole list, there's only a few stocks we can actually get a good setup or almost good setup to trade on, which is okay because sometimes there's days where you can't actually trade because the setups aren't there. And if you force trades, that's when you end up losing a lot of money very quickly because you're not being patient enough. And I've been there. I've made those mistakes. So in these areas, we have Manu, we've got Elan, which is pretty good. But again, earnings is kind of a little wild card right there. So that's a maybe. We've got HZNP, Horizon Therapeutics. 
This one's also kind of a maybe form because we have a good crossover down here. We've got earnings though as well, low volume. And we also have a kind of moving average kind of jam up right there. I'm not sure if it's going to break through the 50 day or not. So I'm kind of on the fence with that one. So we're going to go back to Manu and this is our setup that we like to trade right here, right now. So we're going to go there and we're going to say that, hey, this one's got room to run. This is where we go to our last final step and we set our kind of technical levels that we're going to base our options trading on. When you do options, okay, the biggest thing to remember is that you have to get technical direction right when you're buying calls. If we get the direction wrong when you're buying an option, puts our calls, you're going to lose money, okay? When you're selling, you have a different kind of buffer built in, but when you're buying, you have to get direction absolutely right. So this one is essential to plan out a little bit more of where the stock may or may not go. And to do this, we use our tool right here, the combo tool for our long position. We would then go ahead and say, maybe we're going to get into the option right there. And we want to get, maybe let it go up to this area right here, this target with kind of a stop loss in this area somewhere around here. And let me get to this in a second, because this isn't how you're going to actually enter your options trade, but you're going to be able to do this and kind of set yourself up for chart reading and technical reading that's going to help you when you do make your options trade, okay? So if that's a technical level at the top there, we may think it's going to go at 26 and change, and we're okay with the stock pulling back to kind of this candle close for today, the low of today. Then we have a nice kind of risk reward of 1.78. Not bad. You want to be around two. It's pretty close. Maybe you think it's going to go a little bit higher, so you can kind of filter these numbers a bit, but don't go too far and don't try to make a trade happen. If it's not there, it's not there. But anyway, you can't trade options inside of trading view, but you can use this to set yourself up for success when you go back to your trading platform. Here's what I mean. So we built this setup and we have a nice crossover signal down here. We have a nice gap up up here. We have a nice kind of position indicator of what technical levels we wanna be watching for the stock price itself. We're gonna then take this information and put it into the options chain and actually make an options trade on this and show you how it works. So here in Interactive Brokers, I'm seeing the exact same thing chart-wise that I am in TradingView, but TradingView helps guide my trade and say if it's a yay or a nay. The platform here that I trade with doesn't have that kind of power to actually make the trading setups happen that I want to. In here, I know that it's a good trade right now. It's set up wise. I'm confident in that. I'm going to go down here and look for the stock that has kind of the most volume right here. So this option at 25, 11 days out. So it's really got to move in the right direction. I would go and I would buy this call option. Let's say there, buy one call option, limit order, right? Right in the middle, right there. Day order right there. And I would submit that order in there, make that trade. And then once that trade is live, right? I would go and make sure that I have an area where I want to go ahead. I may put a stop loss on this trade in my options account right now, but I could also monitor this and say that, hey, I know where the stock may go. If it hits this area up here or approaches this area up here in the actual chart setup, I can do that. I can see it and I can go close up my trade and book a small profit. If it does start pulling back down here, I can actually set an alert inside of TradingView to let me know that, hey, it's approaching this area. Maybe you want to have a little bit of an alert right there. I'm going to right click right here and just go add an alert right there at that level. And you can say crossing right there only once every time expiration long in the future. Okay. And we can just create that alert to show you on the downside that it's going to actually happen. If when it does cross there, you're going to get a notification on the web browser. It's going to make a little funny sound. It's going to say, Hey, this is happening. Get your attention to it. You can go close out your trade. If you prefer not to put a stop loss on your trade that way. And this is how I'd set up my account in trading view for options trading. Even though you can't trade options inside of trading view, you can set things up and get things ready and understand where the stock is likely to go how to find stocks that are pumping or whatever your strategy may be. You can find those stocks, put the technical analysis in play, get your setups ready, chart it out, have a plan, and then go make your trades inside of your trading platform as you go. If you want to know how to execute trades live and the full walkthrough of buying calls in depth inside Interactive Brokers right here, make sure you like this video and check out the next one coming right at you.